We are here today to welcome our newest member, the Honorable Tina McKinner. When I walked into the assembly floor today, I was just overwhelmed. I almost cried. I just feel really good, and I'm just proud to have my family with me. I'm excited to have Assemblymember Tina McKinner here to add to our assembly team. I congratulate Assemblymember McKinner. I welcome her, and I want her to know we are all ready to help her succeed. Welcome. It feels amazing. I'm so honored, you know, just to be here. I'm honored that my voters and my constituents have the trust in me to send me here to represent them. For the Office of Member of the Assembly, please raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Tina McKinner, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, against all enemies foreign and domestic, against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear bear truth, faith, and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States, to the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, without any mental reservations, or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully that I will will and faithfully discharge the duties, discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Which, which upon I'm about to enter. You got it. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's important for all of us to remember that elected office is earned and not owed. To my constituents, I commit to you now and for all of my days of service that I will do everything in my power to earn your trust, to earn your faith, and to be worthy of the office which you have chosen me to serve. Well, I would like to start out by getting faith-based housing built. We have um, congregations across California, multi-faith congregations, that would like to build housing, low-income housing on their property. So that's one thing I'd like to do. And then I'm, I would love to um, do some policy around our system-impacted brothers and sisters that are getting out of jail. I'd love to get them a California ID card as they exit prison. I'd love to see that happen as well. Just as my family sought a brighter future here in California, millions of families across California seek the same dream. I bring good news. The California dream is very much alive and I'm ready to do everything in my power to make that dream a reality for all who call this great state of California home. Thank you.